Hi, everybody, and welcome to my attempt this week at BBO's weekly free instant tournament. Um, as usual, instant tournaments, weekly free. Yes, and history. Um, eight boards, match points. I say it every week, best hands. So you've got, nobody's got more high card points than you. Um, they can have the same number. Um, but not more, and they can have better distribution, but that's what we mean by best hand, is nobody has more points than you. So here I've got 16 points, they've opened one spade, I've got double stop in spades, 15 to 17 points. I would always bid one no trump here, just to do that. Two clubs is Stamen, um, asking how I got four card major, no I don't. Two no trumps is an invitation. They might not have a full card major. East's got five, sorry, on the standard five spades opening bid. Partner's got nine high card points opposite my 16. That's 25. So there should be some entries. Partner's got spades. We should be able to make two spades. Some chances to set up the diamonds. Obviously, we're worried about hearts, but they haven't bid hearts. Um, the robot very often leads short suits. They more often find don't lead the suit they bid than human beings would. Um, so when the West robot comes to lead, they're very often likely to lead a different suit. So they might find a lead a heart if we have a heart weakness. But realistically, we've got 25 high card points. There's, there's 10 diamonds is a big card. Um, so we've got our 25 points. We're going to bid three no trumps here. I know it's match points, and not, you would, you, you know, at imps, you'd automatically bid a, a game like this, but I think you've got reasonable chances in the game anyway. And we'll see what happens. My partner doesn't, and they don't lead a heart. Partner's got ace king of hearts, they've got all these clubs. It looks like clubs are getting the entry. We could, should make two spades, two hearts. That's four. We should be able to make four clubs, which would be eight, and the ace of diamonds would be five. The partner's actually got eight points, not nine. So we've got 24 points. This hand opened the bidding, 13 and three, something like that. Um, and play low, see if the ace of spades goes up. No, they're going to let us win. Um, I don't want to tell them I've got the Queen of Spades. They probably know anyway from their partner's lead. But I'm going to go up with the King of Spades. Um, going to attack clubs. The Ace is there, unsurprisingly. Then comes the Ace of Spades. Doubleton Spade here. So we had, remember, we had six spades, three and three. It turned out to be, there have been two here to leave five here. This hand had at least five, remember, for the opening bid. So they have exactly five spades. And this hand's thrown the two of hearts. And insofar as the robots do anything, it says it doesn't really have hearts. So the queen of hearts may well be in this hand. There could be some end play. Um, we'll worry about that in a minute. But remember, if this hand gets the lead, they can't lead spades. Um, and this hand's got two spade winners to cash. So um, let's see if the clubs are breaking 3-2. Remember, we were five in dummy, three in our hand. So that's eight. So they've got five. Um, we're all right. If they break 3-2, then the queen and jack will get them all. And those three little, cl those club little clubs in dummy would be good. If East only had the ace, then we'll actually have a finesse against the 10. So let's play the queen of clubs and see what happens. The eight, so that's good. We're going to make all the clubs and they break. So um, what do we want to do? Do we want to leave the jack of hearts and see what's what? So I leave the jack of hearts. West, if they have it, is likely to put on the queen. They probably do have it. The east, if east had 
the full 16 points that's not here, they probably would have opened one no trump. They don't seem to have a singleton. They had five spades and two club, two or three clubs. So they don't have a strong no trump. So they probably have at most 14 points. So this hand will have at least two, um, possibly three or four. So they may well have a diamond on it. So I think they would put on the Queen of Hearts if they had it. So I'm going to, um, my plan now is to lose a trick to a diamond honour in this hand. Because they shouldn't have five, if, if, shouldn't have five points. Because if this hand had five points, this hand would have 11. And the robots only open 11 points if they got a, an unbalanced hand. And it doesn't, it doesn't look particularly unbalanced. So I think this hand can only have one of the king, queen of diamonds if they don't have the queen of hearts. So I'm going to find out if they have the queen of hearts. They do. Right. So that probably means that this hand has king, queen of diamonds. So... We're in dummy now, so we're going to cash our clubs. We're going to keep our heart entry to dummy. And they had three clubs to go with their five spades. And this hand's thrown a diamond. And they've now thrown a heart away. And we know they've got almost certainly got king, queen of diamonds. They might only have the king. We'll throw the five of diamonds away. And the heart appears. Another diamond appears. And another diamond appears from here. Right. Seems very likely this hand has king, queen of diamonds and two spades. We know they've got two spades. And I think if I lead a diamond. Well, they've gone with the king. Now they would normally play the queen if they had a low one. It's given me eight tricks. Have they got, so what have they got left? Have they come down to just the king of diamonds, two spades and a heart? Um, have they come down to king, queen of diamonds and two spades? Because, I mean, I can make the contract easily. I play a heart to the king. But um, there are chances of some over tricks. So what's this hand got left? I don't think this hand's discarded down to the singleton king of diamonds and the ten of hearts and two trumps. So I think the heart finesse is working and they probably... Right. Oh, well, they did come down to the singleton king of diamonds, but it wasn't the ten of hearts they had. So I've got a lucky over trick here. For 87.5%. So, well, interesting to see what they discarded. And that's equal top. Three and a trumps plus one. We couldn't do better. But, uh, all right, so we'll move on to board two. This time we've just got 13 points, um, but we've got two five-card suits. And when you have two five-card suits, you open the higher one, even though the clubs is stronger. Some people would argue if you had five spades and five clubs, you should open one club. I think that's gone out of fashion these days. So we're going to open one heart. Partner bids a spade. Um, so he's already promised five heart. But we're not bidding one no trump. We're bidding two clubs here. Um, partner bids two diamonds. Fourth suit forcing. So it's forcing to three no trumps. They've got 13 plus points. Um, they can't have more than 13. 
13 plus total points, 12 plus high card points. We know they can't have more than 13 because we got the best hand. But now our king of spades is was worth something once they bid spades. We haven't got a diamond stop, but we do have a fifth club. So we're going to bid three clubs here. And uh, North can pick what game they want, and they're going to four hearts. Right. Um, pass. So partner's presumably got three little hearts, so probably maybe with a one honour. Three to an honour. Yes, yeah, so a diamonds lead is very nice. Saves us having a guess in diamonds. We can have a guess in hearts instead. So now we've got loads of winners, as you can see. Um, these two clubs could go on those two spades, provided we could get to dummy. Um, we need to come to hand in order to. We really want to lead hearts towards the king. We probably want to lead the jack and then finesse against the queen. We could come to hand with the king of spades, but entries to dummy are a bit short. If the king of hearts gets knocked out, it's difficult for us to get to dummy. We might want to overtake the king of spades with the ace later in order to get one discard on the spades. But we'll, so we'll take a ch slight chance of there being a rough because we've got eight clubs, so they've only got five so they could be four one quite easily and we'll leave the jack of hearts prepared to take a finesse see the king of spades has now been king of hearts rather knocked out by us having to cover the queen now this may get roughed or there may be three two but we've got to go up with the king and see what happens it doesn't right so club so we had eight clubs they had five and there were two we've seen four of them so far they've only got one more so these clubs are good spade is good um we had eight hearts um so they had five two of them have gone um the queen and the ace so we can draw them in three rounds if we need to in fact we only need two rounds because this is the fifth one gone and now everything is good so we can claim and lots of people will have done exactly the same 60%, so almost everybody's making four hearts plus one, but three no trumps was better. And uh -huh. a lot of times. Well, we gave partner the choice. Um, make three spades, one diamond, four, five clubs, nine. Well, they must have given you another trick somewhere. Right. But, uh, I think we were in the right place. But one of those people who scored three and a trumps plus two must have been one of the people who was level with us because we're now in equal second place. We were in equal first place after the last one. So here we are, us to open the bidding. We got the balance, 15 points. It's horrible, 15. If I were playing Ackle, I would open this as a 12 to 14 no trump. Um, but um, I'm going to open it as a 15 point no trump. Here, passed out. Well, we've got five diamond tricks. We should get a spade trick. We may or may not get a heart trick. Probably not. Three of hearts could be a five card suit. It could easily be one off here. The jack now coming back, is it? No, the ace. Oh, so our queen's a trick. Right. And they've got a third one. This one's got a third one. So we had five hearts between us. They had eight. So they can't be worse than five, three. We've got two more hearts. One of them might have two of them. Um, what's the best thing to do? Okay. Should I cash my five diamonds? I'm going to throw the two of spades away. I can't afford to throw a diamond without me throwing a trick away. And I want to keep the clubs because as the clubs are, they can't play the clubs without giving me a club trick. If... Mm. Do I want to try and get a spade trick 
I've got one trick so far, and I've got five diamonds is six. I need one more to make my contract. And they've got two tricks, and they've got two heart tricks. But the difficulty is I have to find things to throw away on the heart. So I'd have to throw two, possibly two spades away from dummy. Could afford to throw a diamond away from my hand and maybe a club. I think what I'm going to do is go across to dummy in diamonds and play a spade towards the king queen. And the ace is there. Here comes the heart. I can afford to throw the spade from dummy. I can afford to throw the little spade from my hand. So there are two hearts coming. So dummy's got to throw a club away. Um, and I can afford to throw a big diamond away because king jack 10 will get rid of all their diamonds, especially if they've thrown one away. Ace of Cubs, right, that solves all our problems. Right, we've got the rest of the tricks now. So the Ace of Clubs and Ace of Spades were both with the two hearts. So there was nothing we could do about that and nothing they could do to have extra tricks. So Queen of Spades is good. Jack of Clubs is good. Um, is it? No, it's not, but it can go away on the diamonds. So I can play the Three of Diamonds to the King. Seven of diamonds to the jack, and those two diamonds are good. So we can just claim contract making. 60.7% again, and it's most people are doing the same thing. And a few people are going off. Yeah, you couldn't do better. And so the person who's leading was one of those who did the same thing as us. Right, so Easter's opened a week two in diamonds. And we've got 12 points, which is not great. We do have a diamond stop, but we're not strong enough to bid two no trumps. Um, do we want to bid three clubs? That's really going out on a limb. Um, we don't. Partners are past hand, so is West. East has six to ten high card points. Right, so we have, as I said, we have 12. Neither of these could open the bidding. This one's got a weak one, weak hand. So they've got 11 to 9 points, both each. Um, they can't have more than 11, otherwise they'd have opened the bidding. And even given that they're short in diamonds, because there's six diamonds here and one diamond here, they might well have opened if they were... 11 so it's much more likely that um they're between eight and ten points each so contracting to make nine tricks when we don't have a guaranteed fit and we've only got 20 to 22 points between us is not a good thing obviously some of you know lots of these deductions about best hand are not you know, and not normally available in bridge, but here it is. They are both past hands, so you know West and North can't have um, more than 11 points each, and in fact, really more than 10. Um, so, and in ACOL, you'll open a lot of 10 point hands as well. The robots don't. So, I'm going to pass here to probably get passed out. No, raise to three diamonds. A partner bids three spades now, which shows six plus spades. And 11 high card points. So the robot strength, why didn't partner open two spades? The robot has lots of strict rules about when it opens two of a, a week two. Um, doesn't want four cards in another suit and things like this. Um, so this is not necessarily a bad contract. If the ace of diamonds is with an east, partner probably only has a singleton diamond. Um, and if they do have six spades, then um, any spade finesse might well be right because if the spades of if they have eight, we have eight spades between us, six and two, then 
it's quite likely that east only has one and west has four because east has those six diamonds but we're not we're certainly not bidding on right so remember it's swapped around we have this hand the north hand now and this is the dummy down here the south hand and they've led the six of hearts the partner hasn't opened two spades because they've got four hearts they do indeed have the singleton diamond and a doubleton club so those are three losers now we could try leading the two of diamonds up to the king and they go up the ace and don't switch to clubs um that's all right but this six of hearts could be a singleton might be a doubleton um because there's a lot of cards below it and yeah so we're going to win the king and we're going to try and draw trumps essentially we want to lose the ace of spades and three minor suit tricks um, less if possible but we'll go up with the king two from there um I'll play the nine, just hiding the three, just make might make it harder for them to work out what's happening. Um, the Queen of Hearts is an entry to my hand, so I'm going to play the spades from here to start with. The Ace of Spades is there, so and here comes the Four of Hearts. I'm going to keep this entry to dummy, so it is a doubleton heart almost certainly. They probably don't have the Ace of Diamonds now. Um, if you think about it, they've turned up with the Ace of Spades. That's four points. Um, now thinking hearts. This hand had Ace, King, Queen of Clubs. They might have been doing something. So they might probably have a club on her here somewhere. Um, in which case... They probably don't have the Ace of Diamonds, but we might as well try it. So we've seen two of their five spades, so they haven't. we can draw the rest of them. And in fact, this hand's turned up with two spades at least. We've got to throw... And they had three spades. Six diamonds, three spades, two hearts, by the looks of it, and therefore two clubs. Um... We kept this Queen of Hearts in dummy because we got lots of entries to our hand by trumping. Um, but just in case the King of Diamonds gets set up, we can come to it. So I'm going to try the Two of Diamonds now. I'm not very hopeful of this. No. And they should... They're going to leave another Diamond. Trump. Um... I'm just going to see if we can persuade them to do anything silly. No. Another club. There we go. Seven of hearts, which will let run round to the queen. And now we've got two trumps and a heart to make our nine tricks. Which we can claim. 140, another one where everybody's getting the same score. Everybody's in three spades, 140, and some people are going off one, and some people did four spades going off one. So once again, we know the person who's ahead of us did exactly the same as us. We're still in equal second place, only with one other person now, so some of them win the people going down. Right, here we are. We got a flat 17 count. It's a horrible 17. The 10 of diamonds is the only redeeming feature. Otherwise, it's 4 3 3 3, and intermediates are terrible, but it is a 1 no trump opening. Two hearts is a transfer to spades. Um, what does two no trump? I think two no trumps here breaking the transfer means that I'm 4-3-3-3 with 17 points and four spades. And that's exactly what I've got. So one way I'm not I'm tempted not to do it because it tells East and West what I have, but it does tell North what I have. So North should be able to place the contract perfectly. 
Three hearts is a retransfer to spades saying bids three spades anyway. So it's probably going to pass it. No, they're going on to four spades, but they want it played obviously from this hand. Right, so we're back where the south hand is the one that opponents can't see, and that's the dummy. Eight of diamonds. Well, they can take two diamond tricks. Um, let's hope they don't take a diamond rough as well, because they should have a heart trick or two heart tricks. No clubs and uh, no spades. Right. Two. King. Ten. Ace. Queen in the hope that that fools them into thinking that uh, I'm the one with the doubleton diamond. No. Nope. So it looks like we're going one off here. Right. So this hand had two diamonds. So this hand had five. Remember, we had six between our two hands. So they had seven, two here, five here. Um, clubs, we don't know. But we'd like to find out a bit more about clubs. Um, so we'll rough this club. Come over to the Ace of Spades, drawing two of their trumps. Remember, we had four here, five there. That's nine. So they, we got, they got two trumps left. We'll play another club. I can afford to rough this one. I if need be. So, what are our chances of avoiding a heart loser? Practically zero. Um, a singleton king in the east hand would do it. A singleton jack in the west hand wouldn't. So, we want to draw some trump. Draw the remaining trumps. One still left, nine of hearts thrown from there. Oh, there aren't any left, I miscounted. Silly me. Oh, they roughed once. Right, but I do want to be in this hand, so shouldn't have done that. I've thrown two hearts away. Well, should mean that we just lose the one heart trick. There's the jack, so we're going to lose the king now. There we go. Eight of clubs. Four spades minus one is 3.6%. So um, two people make four spades. That's because they didn't. They just bid three spades probably when they broke the transfer. Yeah, they bid three spades when they broke the transfer. And they didn't tell, as I said, I didn't tell the opponents that they had three diamonds. So the robot knew I had three diamonds, so I couldn't fool it by throwing away those two. And so by bidding according to the robot system, I went down and lost the people who didn't even bid game. As if they don't get that diamond rough, obviously we're going to make it. Um, so down to seventh place. So um, sometimes you do better to hide the hands. So I've got a bit of catching up to do. So I'm going to um, open this hand to no trumps, even though I've only got 19 points. Three clubs. Stamen. Don't have a full card major. Three no trumps. Let's see if that does us any good. Three of hearts led. And we've got three spades. Well, we can set up the diamonds. Um, the robot led fourth highest from the king or from the jack. I don't know. Obviously, if they're from the king, it's best to go up with the queen because we're just going to knock out the ace of diamonds and then hope we've got enough tricks off the top. But we'll play the two. We don't want to see the jack. We do. Right. Looks like we'll just, we ought to be able to make plus one this time. Right. Oh, well, King Jack 
sat over it. So all our hearts are now good. Um, seven of diamonds, which we can let run round 10. So we started with uh, seven diamonds. They had six. We've seen four of them now. So the rest will go under the king queen. We can throw a club away on a heart. Um, we've got the king of spades here. So we're going to make the rest of the tricks, but so is everybody else. Um, and everybody else might not have got a heart lead on a different auction. So you may find that we're making a trick less than lots of people. Yeah, 32% for that, doing something different. People who bid three no trumps, open one diamond. Partner bids a heart, so you don't get a heart lead. Um, and there, so I... I by, I knew by opening two no trumps, I was going to get an unusual, you know, I was doing something different, um, trying to get a better score than other people. But obviously the chances you get a worse score by doing something different. So that's something to do when, you know, if you're behind, you know, if you need a good score to catch up and win the competition, um, then you might do something non-standard to try and create variance to get a different result to everybody else. And of course, it might be a good different result or a bad different result. Um, so that's the way it was. 13 points, five clubs, four hearts. Right. So this is one club. One heart from partner. And two hearts. Something to be said, actually, for passing one heart here. Because um, we know partner's got a bad hand, but no more than us. Um, and they might come. Danger is they'll come in with spades if we pass. Let's try passing. They do. So we're playing in one heart rather than two hearts. Um, Queen of clubs led. Remember, this now north is the is playing it. This is the dummy. This is what they can see. Queen of clubs led. Um, I can see both our king X's. So, so win with the ace. This might be well be queen jack ten, queen jack ten nine. Um, and this hand might well be roughing. Um, well, we'll draw. We've got eight trumps. They've got five. Difficulty with drawing two rounds is that if they fall one, it gives them the ability to draw all four. So I think I've probably got to duck a heart, right? No, I'm going, I could duck a heart, but then really I want to do some roughing in this hand. Um, so I'm going to play a club now. I might get the king roughed. Nope. They led the queen from queen 10. So they've got one big club now, which I'm going to let them have. So they can't get a rough. And it's the nine. So they're queen from queen 10, doubleton. This hand's on lead. They've got to lead around to here. Um, I didn't lead the spade. So I can re I'm going to put the queen on because I'd like to have the entry to this hand. They may play another diamond. No, they're going to play the spade. Right, we might as well try the king. And this is there. Six of spades. Seven. Two. Queen of spades. Well, we'll try the six of hearts. See if they over rough. No. Right, we're going to see if we can draw two more trumps. It looks like things are breaking. Everything no, doesn't seem to be any long suits. They got, they got one big heart left. They've got the queen of hearts left. What I'm going to do is play the three of diamonds to the king and play my winning clubs. They can rough anytime they want to. None.
So one heart plus one is 60.7 percent. Everybody else is making two hearts exactly. Everybody bids two hearts and it gets passed out. Some people went down into that. So doesn't do us a lot of good. All right. So a lot of very flat boards. There's one, two, three, four with 60.7s. That one, because we bid correctly, we got a very bad score. And then we tried to get it back, and that was a bad score as well. So we're not going to win this week. Let's see what we can finish up with. All right, passed round to us. We've got 11 high card points. So as expected, they're tens and nines over there. Um, we know that we'd know that even if it wasn't a best hands tournament, because we know that they've got 29 points between three of them, but none of them have enough to open the bidding. So they're all going to have nine and ten. We know that. Um, maybe eleven. But um so the standard thing in fourth in hand is to, uh, I've said before, is you count up your number of points and add your number of spades and it comes to 15 or more, you can open a bidding. Because when the points are evenly distributed like this, then it, the spade suit tends to win. We have the spade suit, so we'll try one spade. One no trump from partner, two minus spades. Well, so no real advantage in spades. We're going to play one no trump. And if we make it, we're likely to go 50%. If we don't, we're likely to be below 50%. So once again, it's North that's playing it. This is the dummy. Two of clubs is led. Well, we'll force them to play one of the king or queen. Um, and the jack might make fourth round of the suit. There's the queen. They're probably going to come back with a low one to knock out the ace. Yeah. So we don't know where the king of clubs is. Could be there. We don't know where the ten of clubs is. Um, but we're not going to play clubs. Nor do we really want to play spades from this hand. So I think we want to play from that hand and then let them play, see what they want to play. So... Could lead the jack of diamonds to see if the queen is here. But I think I'll play the six for now. The ten comes up. That's useful. Jack nine are equals against the queen. Robot does this. Seems to be doing it more than used to. Um, playing this high card to force our high card. Well, we're going to play the ten of spades and see if we get anything covers. If, if West has king jack. We're in quite a lot of trouble, but we're going to play the two. We expected the jack to win because and there's the king of clubs, so our jack of clubs is all right. We're going to keep the diamonds. And now they play the seven of hearts, which is bad news. They're unlikely to have done it from the king, so they're going to do that, and they're going to win the ten. Comes the king and ace. We're going to keep the jack nine of diamonds. The so ace were both over the queen. Jack falls there. That's a bit sad. The jack and king, king, so we can afford to throw a spade away. Um, we want to keep the spade. We're going to throw a little diamond. And that's good, because now we know we've got the rest. So the jack of diamonds is good, the jack of clubs is good, and the ace of spades is good. So we're going to be one off. So we could have passed it out. Um, and seen what that did. We get 57.1% but going off one off. Um, you probably can't see the other tables yet. No. But, uh, so that goes up to one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. We sixth place, seventh place, yeah, seventh of fifteen, just over fifty percent. Um, but can we see the other tables yet? See how many made one no trump. 
looks as though one person made one no trump everybody else but and two people went down looking at 57 percent that'll come up in a moment but um yeah those these are very flat sets we did well on the first board to get our extra over our over trick to get us above the 60.7 that everybody's scoring and then that one as i say as i said when i bid it it tells the the defenders about the hand as well um as partner so uh, that was not so good and then that attempt to recovery just was a failure back to the another fifth standard one and here we are yeah so three spades made and three spades was one off and pass pass is 92.9 percent some people went two off um right so that means it seems like some people bid two spades over one no trump to get to three spades yeah um which is not the great thing to do but pass would be better than that i think um right okay well i hope you enjoyed that and that you learned some lessons from it um in terms of counting the handout um there was quite a lot of that um we did have quite a lot of flat hands um and quite a lot of deduction from where the hands have fairly equal points that weren't just from the fact that this is a best hand tournament but you could actually deduce it from the bidding so i hope you found it was interesting and um please do like and subscribe um like the video subscribe to the channel it all helps put these videos in front of other bridge players around the world um and uh, i'll see you next week thanks for watching